A bunch of people have written to me about Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom is the Democratic governor of California. He's not the most progressive guy, but he's pretty damn clever. And while I am, if we think about 2024, um, I don't believe Joe Biden is running for reelection. And I've said already I the people I'm not saying these are the most electable people, but I, I like Jamie Raskin. Uh, I like John Ossoff. You know, there's other people I like. Gavin Newsom is someone I wouldn't immediately uh, uh, write off in terms of electability. I think he's very smart and I think that it would be interesting if he ran, although I'm not like a fan of Gavin Newsom and his politics are different than my politics. All I'm saying is I think it's conceivable he could do well against someone like DeSantis. OK, that, that's all I'm saying. And people, David, oh, the news Newsom is scum. Let's take it down a notch. OK, let's take it down a notch. He's been running ads in Florida and in Florida. He's been running them in both states. And uh, OK, let's check out one of them. Dependence Day. So let's talk about what's going on in America. Freedom its under attack in your state. Your Republican leaders, they're banning books, yep. making it harder to vote, restricting Oops. speech in classrooms, even criminalizing women and doctors. I urge all of you living in Florida to join the fight or join us in California, but we still believe in freedom. Free Isn't that the best? Appealing to Florida residents and saying, come to where there's freedom, California. Of course, the right wing idea is Florida is where there's freedom. California is nanny state, all this terrible stuff. Now, California has a budget surplus. Uh, economically, it's looking better than Florida. Um, so many. I mean, people move to both states, uh, but it, it, you know, the idea that, oh, Florida is just doing so much better. Florida doesn't do well in access to health care on and on and on. Yeah. Freedom of speech, freedom to choose, freedom from hate and the freedom to love. Don't let them take your freedom. Paid for by Newsom for California governor 2022. OK, it's so he's running for governor now, but there are rumblings about could he be a 2024 contender potentially? Uh, and so that's kind of the, the genesis of this. I think it's interesting. He's not like my favorite politician. I, I the thing is, I don't really care. Like when people say he's scum and he did the you know, the, he went to the French laundry for dinner during the pandemic and all this stuff. Fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to like this guy as a person. Uh, I mean, is everything Bill Clinton did stuff? I would think this is the best thing to do and more. No, but we're we're talking about politics here and I don't know these people personally and I don't really care. But, you know, it's it's just like, could he potentially be an interesting candidate? And I think there's the potential for that. That's all it is. All right. Everybody relax. Thank you to Overa Dev for the Twitch Prime subscription. You're number 62 today. I also want to say a big thank you to Lisa Raider. Lisa just signed up at joinpacman.com with the coupon code indict. As a reminder, we're almost two thirds of the way there. If we get to 100 supporters today, that includes joinpacman.com, Twitch, and Patreon. We will guarantee another stream this week, which potentially will be the Trump rally on uh, Saturday night in Alaska. Also, thanks to Bosch for the Twitch Prime subscription number 64. Super chat. Jack says, David, as someone in Pennsylvania, I'm really worried about the gubernatorial election. Unlike Dr. Oz, Doug Mastriano has a lot of grassroots enthusiasm. Jack, you're absolutely right. I am horrified that uh, th listen. I'm not seeing like big energy behind Josh Shapiro, who's the Democratic nominee for Pennsylvania governor. And I am seeing a lot, a lot of enthusiasm from lunatics behind Mastriano, who is a monstrous, monstrous, dangerous guy. So I am very, very much concerned about that as well. 